Hello, this video is about face swabbing in Automatic 11.11 using Reactor, which is a fast web image face swab extension built on top of Rook that I have explained in a previous video. We will see how it's done in a text to image, in image to image, and face swabbing in a video. Now, why Reactor is stayed for Rook? Uh, first of all, Reactor allows us to create uncensored NSFW images, unlike the original Rook extension. It has more features, gender detection, better scaling, and allows to use multiple faces in source images to swap multiple faces in target, in target images as well. Not to mention that Rube uh, extension has been uh, has ceased or Rube project has ceased development. So uh, Reactor is uh, a better replacement now for Rube. It is built on top of Rube. So in terms of the quality of the output, you should expect uh, similar quality to Rube to some extent, but has better features. For example, it does not have NSFW filter, which is very important for many people. It also has gender detection and more options and more uh, control over the, the image being generated and better upscaling. There's another extension called uh, Face Swap Lab, uh, which uh, you might consider also uh, testing. It's basically also uh, built on top of Rube as well to some extent. So to install uh, this extension for Automatic 11.11, so to use it with Automatic 11.11, we need to install Visual Studio 2022 Community Edition, for example, if you do not have it installed already, you just need to install it and continue, etc. Just follow the installation instructions in case you do not have it installed in your system. Now, I think it's useful to note that uh, Rube extension has been discontinued, so it will no longer be developed according to the developer note. Now, in order to install the extension, we just copy this extension uh, here, the link in this location, then we go to Automatic 11.11, we go to Extensions, Install from URL, then Paste and Install. Now, once the extension is installed, just click Apply and Restart. Once installation is complete, you should get something like this, which is, says that it's, it's running. So you can go to Automatic 11.11 and test it. In Automatic 11.11, you will see it like here, a Reactor. So you can uh, place the face that you want to swap in this location and create a prompt and swap the face or use image to image. Now, regarding the settings, uh, we must enable uh, the Reactor. Now, the first is the indexes uh, in the images here. So, for example, zero is the, f the first face, one is the second, two, and three. So, for example, if we want to uh, swap multiple faces from this image, we would put zero, one, two, three. So, in this case, the target image should also contain ideally four faces. So, in that case, uh, it can replace the faces in this order. So, if we want to replace these faces, we put the indexes here. And replacing the target faces. Now, it's very useful that if we, for example, if we just want to replace the female faces, we use female only. We can select female from the original and female in the target, just selecting the female uh, faces or the male faces, etc. So, this is a very useful feature. Now, we can also use upscale. This will upscale the generated image, uh, the entire image, not just uh, the face. And use an upscaler, for example, ultra sharp, and upscale the image by two. Now, the settings, this is using uh, the InSwabber 128 model, just like uh, most face sw swabbers that are available for one click face swabbing uh, at the moment. Uh, in the future, when this is developed, we will get better face swabbing when we have better models than this one. So, if we have uh, an image like this generated in stable diffusion, now this is the original face, and if we enable the reactor face swabber and press generate again, um, now we can see that this is how the face looks like. So it has been replaced with Megan Fox face. It is a good approximation. So it's a good face swapping technique for a single image. We can also use image to image, for example, just drag an image here. For example, we can bring any image from the internet, whatever that image is, and put it in this location. We can change the denoising level to zero. Why do we use that? Because we just want to swap the face. We don't want to change the body. So we make the denoising level zero. Thus, the image, the image is not used at all. Uh, we only, uh, in this case, we only use the reactor. We enable it and use upscale. Okay, now it's very important to uh, click on this button to, in order to have the same, as the same dimensions as this image and click generate again in order to get uh, the right uh, image. So we can see here that Megan Fox is now the astronaut in this picture. Now, if we have large set of images that we want to uh, replace uh, the faces in it, we just use 
batch. So in the batch, we put the input directory with the source images, the output directory. Then we use the reactor in this location. Now this can be used to generate videos as well. For example, if we convert the original video into a sequence of images, then we batch these images and replace the face in each of these images. Now, for example, if we just uh, drag and drop a video into the initial resolve like this, change, uh, we just convert the video into a PNG sequence, for example, like this here. We put the file name, the location of the folder, which is PNG or GBG, and we choose, for example, let's lower the compression level to three to get smaller file sizes, or just make them GBG because okay compression to 95 or 90 is enough 90 percent add to render queue then render all this will produce png sequence now the png sequence is uh, located here for example now we can take one of these images to automatic 11 11 like this here for example make sure that the image size is correct zero is strength, strength is zero that uh, reactor is enabled then press generate now we can see here that Megan Fox's face has become uh, has replaced the face here. So we think that the process can uh, be applied to the batch correctly. So we put the input folder with the image sequence of each frame and the output folder. Then press generate to apply. Now uh, the output is complete. So here we have all the output uh, images, okay, and the sequence. Now it's very important that. Uh, the image files must be in a sequence so, so that the Vinci result can uh, detect them as a sequence. So we press Ctrl A, clicking on the first image, and press rename and give it a name, for example, okay? So that we have something like output one, two, three, etc. Like this. Just drag and drop. And we can see that we got our, our uh, results. So the face has been swapped. Now we can go to deliver and ex uh, produce the results. The results, turn them into something like MB4. MB4, okay, this looks good. Just add to render and just produce. We can see here that it took only one second to produce the video, so it's very quick and very effective. And we can see the results here that we have Megan Fox face uh, instead of the original face in the, in the original picture. So this is a very quick way to do face swapping using automatic 11.11 and so high quality as well. Now, so as a conclusion, the actor is more flexible and gives us more control in conversion tool and it is a fast and effective face swapper extension for automatic 11.11. Uh, this is it and have a good day.